everybody. It is Monday, July 17th. I'm Maggie Plekno and this is Houston Happens. Thanks for starting your morning and week off with us. Coming up on today's show, hear from a couple who was charged nearly, ready for this, $30,000 for an Uber ride while on vacation. Plus, the World Youth Foundation is in studio to talk about a free back to school summit and so much more. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. And as always, we begin with today's top talkers. So as you know, the SAG after strike continues in Hollywood. Here is a look at the picket line in LA. Now, due to the strike, this is what it means, all union members are not allowed to do any work on any TV shows or movies. That also includes promoting new projects. So the red carpet for a new Disney movie looked very different. Check this out. Disney, they didn't let the SAG after a strike get in the way of its Haunted Mansion world premiere at Disneyland. Instead of the actors in the movie, Disney characters walked the red carpet. Now, director Justin Simeon was the only one from the film to attend the premiere, telling Variety that he was, quote, sad his cast couldn't walk the carpet with him. Personally, I kind of feel like they shouldn't have even had the red carpet. I don't think that it was appropriate, but also they kind of need to promote the movie to make any money somehow, hoping they all can come to a resolution soon. Otherwise, what's next? Robots will walk the red carpet instead of actors? Just saying. Well, from walking the red carpet to walking down the aisle. Imagine saying I do and getting ready to leave for your honeymoon only for the bride to realize Oh my goodness, she did not pack her passport for their international cruise. Well, thankfully, this Delta flight attendant, quote, flew into action, if you will. So Lauren realized she had forgotten her passport and was inconsolable mid-flight. That's when this flight attendant, Dusty, you see here, intervened. He actually picked up the passport from where she had left it in Detroit, brought it to Atlanta and passed it to a crew member who was also heading to the couple's destination of San Juan. She got her passport before the cruise and kept her honeymoon plans going. She says, quote, we were so touched and grateful. A renewed faith in humanity was the best wedding gift. We owe our post-wedding bliss to Dusty and the Delta family. I mean, this man deserves a medal. I have to say, after a wedding, all you want to do is get to your honeymoon. So I could not even imagine how she must have felt. Thank you for saving the day, Dusty. All right. Well, talking about some saves, what a wild weekend out west for our Strohs. They won two out of the three games over the Angels in Los Angeles in very dramatic fashion. So CW39 Houston Seth Kovar actually is joining us now live from Minute Maid Park with this week's Astros Update. Hey, my friend, did you watch any of the games? It was intense. Yeah, it really was. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday each had a little something to offer. We're going to break them down for you. Uh, entertaining and dramatic. There were seven ties and ten lead changes over the weekend in all three games, and that's nothing compared to this statistic. There were 32 runs scored between the Astros and Angels from the seventh inning on in the three games. According to ESPN, that's the most runs in the late innings scored by two teams in a three-game series since 2012. It's been 11 years since that kind of dramatic late inning scoring. Pretty wild. So let's go ahead and break it down and just let you know how it all happened. We'll start with our game just yesterday. The Astros up in the, the Astros came back and won on Friday. They lost in comeback fashion on Saturday, and then they came from behind in the ninth inning to win last night. Now they were down seven to five going into their last at bat, but they go on to score four in the top of the ninth. After an RBI ground out cut the Angels lead to one, Alex Bregman stepped up to the plate and hit a two run homer to put the Astros up one. Kyle Tucker followed him with a solo home run, completing the script flip. The Astros were down two, then they were up two. Angels two way phenomenon. Shohei Otani, he cut the lead to one with a solo home run in the bottom of the ninth, and the Angels also got the winning and tying runs on base, but with two outs, Tucker did it again, this time flashing the leather with his glove. He did a diving catch and it ended the game and sealed the Astros series win. Now it was a series sweep for the Texas Rangers over the weekend, so even with the Astros series win, they lost a game in the standings. The Astros trail the Rangers in the American League West Division by three games right now. But those two teams play head to head here at Minute Maid starting a week from today. So that's going to be a blast. The Astros have a good opportunity to rack up some wins before then. They're off today, but then they have two in Colorado against the Rockies who are in last place in their division. 
division. Then it's four games in Oakland against the A's, who have the worst record in baseball. And those Rangers, they're going to be home, yes, for the next six games. But first, they're hosting the team with the best record in baseball, the Tampa Bay Rays. And then the NL West leading Los Angeles Dodgers go to Arlington. So some very opportunities to lose some games for them. Lots of good opportunities to win some games for the Astros before they meet here a week from today. Three games set at Minute Maid. First place versus second place in the AL West. At least that's the way it stands right now, Maggie. All right. Yep. You never know what's going to happen in this season. Thanks so yep. much, Seth. Things are definitely starting to heat up. Well, things are heating up here on Houston Happens. Coming up, a couple's romantic getaway goes wrong. And a local Houston nonprofit joins us to tell us about a free back to school summit. We'll be right back after the break. I came out with my pants on Are so you trying to get me put off television? <laughs> Judge Mathis. You got the real deal. Next on CW 39 Houston. Hi, I'm Devondra, a client of McCarran Law Firm. They go above and beyond to ensure that their clients receive the support they need during one of the most difficult times in their lives. Don't hesitate to call McCarran Law Firm. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. I was on my way home and got hit by a drunk driver. I contact my attorney and he referred me to Terry Bryant. Being a client to Terry Bryant made me feel very comfortable. I was very relaxed. I didn't have to worry about anything. Guess what I really like? If I had another accident, I wouldn't have to try to look for another attorney. I would go back to him. I'm Cam. I'm an actual client of Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Powerball Jackpot is over $1 billion and getting bigger every day. With Jackpot.com, you can now buy official Texas lottery tickets right from your phone. Just go to Jackpot.com. Choose your game, pick your lucky numbers, and get your winnings instantly. Plus, get a free ticket with your first play. Go to Jackpot.com and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Go to Jackpot.com. That's Jackpot.com. your journey own every mile in the hyundai tucson with america's best warranty right now get zero percent apr on the 2023 tucson or up to 1500 bonus cash visit by hyundai.com hi i'm eric dick a home insurance lawyer you know it's hard dealing with a greedy home insurance company you know it's easy getting dick my number is easy to remember it's 832 lawyers that's 832 lawyers Call me right now and I'll hound them and pound them to get you the money you deserve. Don't delay. Call me today. Call me right away at 832 Lawyers. That's 832 Lawyers. Better get dick. Call now. Hi, I'm Devondra, a client of McCarran Law Firm. They were more than just my lawyers, they were my support system during one of the most difficult times in my life. Well, what was supposed to be a romantic getaway ended up being a financial struggle. Our sister station, KTLA, has more on one of the most expensive Uber drives. It was supposed to be a romantic vacation of a lifetime. We've been planning it for, I want to say, about a year now. I think we're both just like really looking forward to the trip. Riverside residents Dominique Adams and Douglas Ordonez were excited to renew their vows on their five-year wedding anniversary during an idyllic getaway in Guatemala. <laughs> that is, until an Uber ride went terribly wrong. I didn't believe it at first, uh, but obviously it, it was actually true. It all started in Costa Rica. Dominique took an Uber to the airport so she could fly to Guatemala to meet her husband. Yeah, it was like a 30 minute ride. But moments after arriving at the airport, that 30 minute ride ended up costing nearly $30,000. Douglas called Dominique saying his credit card had been canceled while trying to buy a cup of coffee. I sat down, looked at what the heck was going on and that's when I see the $29,000 charge on our account. Costa Rican currency is called colonas. 30,000 colonas equates to just over 55 US dollars. But the Uber ride was processed as $30,000. 
Uber insisted it was their bank's fault. We contact the bank, the bank saying contact Uber. So it was like that back and forth of like, nobody knew really how this happened and how this even passed, like all the security measures. Eventually, the bank told them they could dispute the charge, but that it would take seven to 10 days to resolve the issue. I explained to them that we're out of the country. Now we have no money. So like, what are we supposed to do? I'm telling them this is literally a $29,000 charge. We all know no Uber is going to cost $29,000. Why do I have to wait seven days for this? With little cash on hand and no access to their account, the couple was forced to dramatically change their trip. They even had to postpone their wedding vows. To the bank for several days, they basically told me that there was nothing that they can do about it until about five days. After four days and countless phone calls to their bank and exchanges with Uber, the charge was reversed. Personally, I believe it was because like we posted it on social media, we were sharing our story. And so I feel like that's the reason why there was that urgency for somebody to fix it. Their story was seen by hundreds of thousands of people on social media. We still don't know who reversed the charge. We don't know if it was Uber, if it was the bank. They offered this advice to international travelers. Always take out uh, cash, uh, extra cash at hand. Most importantly, only use your credit card when you're traveling. Don't use your debit card. We'll not use Uber again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it as short as that, not using Uber again. I mean, Ido, could you even imagine something like this happening? No, because like, who has 30K in a checking account to cover this Uber charge? Like, no, yeah, nobody has that. You're not even supposed to have more than a couple thousand in your checking account because then your money's not working for you. Exactly. But come on, and like no answers. This is going to take several days. You know what I, I just infuriates me is <laughs> that when something happens to you and then you have no access to your funds. Yes. That happened to my parents, actually. They had an account takeover and then they had no access to any of their funds for like over a weekend and they were the ones that were the victims. It, it was ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Infuriating, yeah. infuriating. Oh, and it's so scary as a mom and like seeing this. I know. My, my daughter out there stuck in a foreign country. You're like, you're just never leaving home, honey. Yeah. That's what I tell May. I'm like, <laughs> we're just going to stay in your nursery in the rocking chair and we'll be fine. Yeah, you're going to say your wedding vows right next to your childhood crib. Yes. A full circle here. I'll sit in the crib. You said I could. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, hey, let's go ahead and talk about the weather, though, because uh, sending the kids out to do some chores, yeah, you're going to have to make sure you uh, cool them down, make sure they are stay hydrated, because we have more heat advisories for today. And also tomorrow, we're going to see this similar pattern of hot, dry weather all the way into Friday. But there are some changes coming up this weekend. We'll look at that here in your extended forecast in just a moment. For today, though, triple digits, 100 degrees, but it is going to be feeling like it's 105 to 110. There is a little glimmer of hope, though, around four to six, we may see a spotty shower or two. But for now, here's that uh, heat advisory that is in effect because heat index temperatures could get up to 112 for today. And the UV index forecast for later on this afternoon, we're looking at nine, so that's very high. So please limit your time outdoors. 15 minutes or less, you can get a burn, especially if you're not wearing that sunscreen. Find some shade, everybody. Please stay safe in these hot temperatures. Now let's talk about that rain, shall we? <laughs> I know, it's so weird. Typically when it's like 10% chance, we're like, Bleh, let's just leave it off the forecast. But check this out. By 4 p.m. this afternoon, we could be seeing some showers developing along that edge of that ridge of high pressure. And I do want to note, last time we had this happen, some of these storms right along that edge of that ridge, they actually did develop into some thunderstorms, Maggie. So we have just a 10% chance of seeing some rain, but you're saying there's a chance, my friend. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's play the lotto. Let's do it. <laughs> this is why you don't work on commission. <laughs> well, you know, you know what, kids? They're going to be going back to school before we know it. I actually sat down with Ignite Community School Mainland about its unique educational opportunities. Check it out. Unlock your child's academic potential at Ignite Community School Mainland, a tuition-free charter school. And joining me with more is campus director, Dr. Crystal Christensen. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Oh, thank you. I love being here. I'm really excited to learn more about this. So tell us a little bit about your school. Well, Ignite Community Schools Mainland is a charter campus. It's a public tuition-free. Uh, we go from pre-K four to eighth grade where your child can exceed and can learn to be prepped for college and all the other attributes that come along to making a wonderful human being. And you touched on something, tuition 
free. Yes. So really, you don't have to pay anything. No, and it is a very exclusive. We are our smaller campus and we're designed with a different curriculum and the different uh, attributes. Our staff is highly recommended. Our academics are wonderful. And we want to pride ourselves on being very small but very personalized to help enrich your child's education. At roughly how many students are there and are you guys reaching capacity? Currently we're about 350 students wow. and yes in some grades we are definitely at capacity but we plan on growing a little bit more um, but there are definitely reasons to get the enrollment in now because once we reach that capacity there's no other room for them. And so if we have a child that we think would be a good fit or if we want a tour how can we get in touch with you all? Well that's wonderful you can call us at the number provided or you can get a hold of us at ignite-mainland.com. Um, you can come check out our campus and we would love to have you there with all our attributes. We have a wonderful community garden. We have um, a cheer. We have started our own athletic program where this year our football team won the championship. So I was very proud of them. This is our first year out. So it's wonderful the things that are happening at, at Ignite Community Schools Mainland. I love this because sometimes people think of a charter school that you don't get that full experience, but you actually get it. So what sets you guys apart from everybody else, would you say? The love of our kids. Mm. Every staff member has been there. They're devoted. They work extra hours. Um, our program is set up to get to the fundamentals and make sure that it is a well-rounded child. I mean, we are offering CT courses from speech. We're offering AV, which would be something very much like we're sitting in today. Right. Um, and we offer art and Spanish. Spanish classes go from pre-K up to eight. Everybody gets it. We're hoping to emerge into a little bit more of a bilingual program somewhere down the road. But yes, we're very excited at the changes. Well, I'm excited, and if this sounds like it might be something for you, make sure that you reach out to Ignite Community School Mainland. Thank you again, Doctor. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, speaking of back to school, Houston-based nonprofit World Youth Foundation has actually teamed up with the city of Houston to host a free back to school summit for over a thousand local middle and high school students. And joining us with more is Karen Franklin, CEO of World Youth Foundation. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Oh, absolutely, Maggie. Thank you for having me on this morning. I'm just excited. First of all, tell our viewers at home who don't know about World Youth Foundation the importance mm -hmm. of what it is exactly. I appreciate that. Thank you. We are a global mentoring leadership program that have been serving Houston and beyond for over 33 years. Oh my God. April 1st was our 33rd anniversary, Maggie, and we are professional volunteers making an intentional impact into the lives of our students, ages 6 to 24. And then actually, when you mentioned the back to school uh -huh. drive, it's for middle school through college students because it's so important to bring everyone together. You know, we're excited about the back to school drive, and then I'm going to pivot back to World Youth Foundation and everything we're doing even as of today. I love the fact that it's all the way to college. It's important. It is important. Yes. Because you get into school, mm -hmm. but then there's the cost of books. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a lot to go to school. It's overwhelming mm. for parents. And it is. And you want to set them up for the best And outcome. that's it, to help them to win in life against all odds, which actually is our mission. And even if you're in college, it doesn't say that you're ready. And at the same time, what about those life resources which World Youth Foundation ensures that students have each and every day? You know, in terms of talking about the event yeah. for Sunday, now mind you, it starts at two. And it is a community project, so students who join us at two will earn 500 community service hours. So it's they a community. Volunteer. No, just them attending. Just them attending. Because it's a community project, they earn 500 community service hours. Where does that happen? It doesn't. It doesn't. Right? This is amazing. Now, right. here's the thing, though. I know something like this. I always like to get involved and help you. Of course. So do you need help still? Absolutely. We have been so excited. Volunteers are signing up each and every day. So young, old, wise, come and join us. Go to our website at worldyouthfoundation.org to sign up. We do. We are closed for vendors. 
but there's just so much that can happen. But at the event, Maggie, the students will hear from national leaders. They'll be a part of a career exploration so they can see the industries up close and personal to learn, whether it be green jobs, city of Houston, and the like, where they may want to matriculate to. I love that. Well, quickly, tell yes, everybody again when it's happening and where we can go. So it is this Sunday, the 23rd, July 23rd at 2 p.m. at the George R. Brown Convention Center, Hall C. All right. We will also have all of the information over on our website, cw39.com. I can't think of a better guest to have on Motivation Monday. Thank you so oh, much for joining me, Karen. I appreciate you. Maggie, thank you so much for having me and for sharing this important event. Thank and you. And stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. We all have some place to go, to work, to school, to see our loved ones, or just to get away. No matter how we choose to get there, the ride has its dangers. And when serious injuries happen to good people, they turn to Terry Bryant to make things right. Car crash? You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. Lost Texas Medicaid? Healthcare.gov is here for you. Where can we find a low-cost health plan? What about a plan that covers doctor visits? Emergency care? Prescriptions? With the new law, four out of five customers can find a plan for $10 or less per month with financial help. Healthcare.gov is here for you. Enroll today for coverage starting the first of next month. What's the website again? Healthcare.gov. Wake up, Achievers. You're making the most of every hour of your life, except the hours that you're sleeping. So why do we leave so much untapped potential on the table? This is a next level bed for a next level you. My circadian rhythm is kicking your circadian rhythm's butt. It's not a competition. I know, <laughs> but I'm still winning. So it is a competition. Save $1,200 on our most popular Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Plus, save up to an additional $500 when you add select adjustable bases. What makes Kelsey Care Advantage the fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan in Houston? In a word, everything. With great new benefits and comprehensive coverage, plus exceptional care delivered by Houston's own Kelsey Siebel Clinics. Kelsey Care Advantage is everything you're looking for. Want extra money for dental, vision, and hearing expenses? Our new $500 Flex Card covers everything from dentures to glasses. How about a ride to your next doctor's appointment? Transportation to and from medical visits is unlimited. Plus, Kelsey Care Advantage is the only Medicare Advantage plan in Texas to receive Medicare's five-star rating for seven straight years. Now that's consistent quality you can count on. And that means everything. Call now to join the plan that delivers everything you want in coverage and care. Kelsey Care Advantage. 713-442-7822. News Nation has a trust rating higher than CNN, Fox, and MSNBC. You can only be the most trusted name in news with the most trusted names in news. Another reason why News Nation is news for all America. Well, you know what they say, timing is everything, and the time is now to renew your electricity contract. Joining us are friends of the show. We have Tatiana and Christine with Power Wizard. Ladies, thanks so much for waking up with us. Oh, thanks for having us. Thank you. I always love having you because I know you're going to make things make sense. So why is now the time to renew? Your electricity plan? Uh, yeah, so many people sign up for 12 or 24 months contract, and usually in summertime, and about 60% or 70% of people fall out of contract around this time. Right. And then you roll over to a variable rate. So what is a variable rate? It's basically you're out of contract okay. and uh, you, the electric provider can increase it, lower it. In most cases, they never lower it. Right. So what they can do is increase it by 30% every month. Oh my goodness. So how much are we talking? Yeah, so if you do the three and a half months, you will double your electricity bill. 
And times are tough as it is. I mean, we're doubling our bill at the grocery store, yeah. so we don't want to double this. So, Christine, how do we know if we're on that variable rate? Yeah, um, it actually says it in the fine print on your contract. Um, legally, uh, providers are only supposed to tell you one time when your contract is expiring. It's typically yeah. around 14 days in advance. Um, so most people forget. They right. say, I'll shop for it later, and then they forget. Best thing to do is give us a call. We can actually tell you how much you can save, um, and we'll also never let you fall onto a variable plan. That is nice because yes. I have trouble keeping up with the expiration of my milk. So when it comes, you know, a lot of times you have things on auto pay mm -hmm. and you're not even paying attention. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how Power Wizard does work and find the best rate. L like Christine says, the electric provider never reminds you we do this. If you become a Power Wizard member, uh, we usually shop for you. We find you the best plan that's available. Um, we sign you up and we have your contract expiration date in our system so we will let you know 60 days out hey your contract is about to expire we are already looking out for you shopping and then we sign you up again so you will never roll over onto that nasty variable rate yes and it is nasty my friends you do not want to end up stuck there no. and you know what I love you guys have such great reviews and you don't have to just do it online you can actually pick up the phone and call someone yep it's the easiest way to do it. Our customer care agents are very nice. Um, they'll tell you how much you can save, and uh, I think you will only be on hold for less than 30 seconds at this point. So. That's another advantage. <laughs> you, you call us. Even if you just have, want to have a question about your bills, you right. need to talk to your electric provider, you call us, and we call on your behalf. So like Christine says, they're waiting 30 seconds rather than you waiting in line for oh. 10, 15, sometimes 30 minutes with the electric provider. We do this on your behalf. That's oh. all oh. part of the membership. Yeah. Allow them to work their magic. Yes. So contact Power Wizard today. As always, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. And that's nearly a wrap on today's show. Before we go, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And we will see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, bye for now, everybody. Have a great rest of your Monday.